What did you just sign it? Where did you sign it at? Right here. There she is. That's right. for my mom. That's for your mom. All right, well, tell. I do Elvis history videos on YouTube. So I'm, at, I'm interviewing fans here during Elvis week. And I'm just asking, why are you an Elvis fan? What is it about Elvis? I was raised by my mother. <laughs> Actually, I thought Elvis could have been my dad for the longest time. Just kidding. <laughs> when we were young and living in Chicago yeah, yeah. to keep us entertained at three years old. She would have us write letters to Elvis and then walk him down to the mailbox and send them in. And so ever since then, I've been an Elvis fan. So did man. you mail the letters to Chrysler? I really don't know because I was very young. I'm yeah. not sure. We just did it because she kept us busy and we loved their, his music. Yeah. She loved him. <laughs> So you just put your mom's name on the wall. You know? Yes. That's awesome. Maybe yes. she ran into Elvis back in the back in the day somewhere. Because Elvis, you know, Elvis yep. hung out with his fans in yep. early years. Yep. So. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. Why are you an Elvis fan? My granddaughter is actually the Elvis fan. Okay. She's 22 years old and she just absolutely loves and adores. She's got her a website also. Okay. Oh my Presley. Right. And uh, she's a big fan, big oh, fan. I, I think she may follow me. Kelsey, probably. Kelsey, uh, uh, Kelsey is her name. Her Globe Trotting with Trey. Okay, okay. You today. Okay, Maybe I will. I will. She's down. Right So you've been uh, working we, hard over here on the fence. We have, yes. Why don't you just write on? Our name, Jamie and Tracy, in the year 2023. 2023? You were here? <laughs> and, we, and we do it every year. Our name's all down through there. That's awesome. In the okay. last 10 and years. <laughs> can you remember all the spots? Because I, I, I wrote my name a long time ago, and I can't remember where it was. No. Well, last year we found it, but yeah, no, mostly You just no. have to look. Yeah, but we mostly don't. So I do Elvis history videos. I'm, I'm asking fans this week, what is it about Elvis? Why are you a fan? Oh my gosh. Um, I'm an Elvis fan because my aunt and her sister were Elvis fans. And so I grew up on Elvis. And my aunt let us stay up late, my sister and I and my two cousins, to watch the 68 special. And I was hooked. I mean, I had heard the albums, you know, all before that, growing up, but that was it. I was, I was hooked. How many times have you been to Graceland? Oh my gosh, I first came to Graceland in uh, 1994, and I've been here many times with our fan club. I'll remember you, Elvis fan club, Jacksonville, Florida. Many times with my aunt and my mother and my cousins. So, you know, and Elvis has a lot of great history in Jacksonville, Florida. Yes. Uh, the Florida, uh, the Florida the, Theater. The Florida yeah. Theater. I feel yeah. I, I stood on the stage. Yes. I have another yes. song. Oh, you did. Uh, yeah. Florida Theater. Yeah. Also, yes. but my favorite is the uh, old baseball park. Yes. Yes. Played yes. Wolfson. The Gator. Yes. Played yeah. Wolfson. The Gator Bowl. Yeah. yeah. And uh, that's where the girls uh, tore his clothes yeah. off of. Yes, they, they even did. took the shoestrings out of his shoes. Uh, <laughs> I interviewed a lady in Jacksonville that owns a piece of the clothing. Oh, do you? Yeah. So I was able to go on my channel. Yeah. Uh, she shows it on the, on the show. Yeah. So why are you an Elvis fan? Same kind of thing. My grandmother was an Elvis fan, and we would she would read books to me about Elvis. We spent a lot of time together, and she actually came here when Elvis lived here, stood at the gates, and was invited in. She didn't meet Elvis, but she met uh, the grandmother, his grandmother. So she was always an Elvis fan, and it was just something that it brought her such joy the music and now I do I have done it with my kids and now I have a new granddaughter and I'm introducing her to Elvis so we talked about that how generational it is that yeah. you know I enjoy the guy's story yeah and I yeah. think when anyone starts to learn about it you want to learn more about the just yeah. yeah, yeah. So. That's cool that your grandmother, though, actually saw Graceland when it was Graceland. She, and she stood right there waiting on him to come out like everybody else like everybody did. Else. And yeah, she, and there's uh, all kind of photos of him at that gate. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. Research and shit. We have some people in our fan club that were at the the concert in Jacksonville when the police came to watch Elvis because he had a restraining order against him that if he shook his hips on stage he would be arrested. We have two people in our fan club that were there at that concert. Yeah, and, he, uh, had yeah, to do the they, yeah, <laughs> and they knew the judge, and we had the judge's son came to our fan club and spoke to us Mayor about. Goody. 
Yes. yes. We, uh, and his son came and spoke to us about that whole thing. So, I bet. That's, yeah. I bet that was fun. Yeah. Did yeah. you know his wife had bought tickets for her two children and they were like in the third the row? wife, yeah. At that concert. So, what I learned about Mayor Whitting is, <laughs> yeah. and I found his grave site, yeah. but he became a big fan of Elvis. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. After that. Yes. Yeah. And he thought, because Elvis was really respectful uh, yeah. and just uh, hanging out with him, he saw the real man and not the narrative that the media had painted up until that point. Yeah. And uh, changed yeah. his, his view and of Elvis. Yes. But that's cool. I, you know, I've been yes. wanting, I've never talked to the son. We'll try to contact him. He, I think he's pretty available. I forgot yeah. what his first name is, but yeah, but he, he does enjoy speaking to people. So how like can that. people join if they're in Jacksonville? How do they join y'all's fan? Uh, We're on a little bit of a hold right now, but um, I'll remember you Elvis Fan Club. The contact is on the fan page here, the phone number, and they can just call. Um, but we usually, maybe starting in September, meet about the fourth Sunday of every month, but okay. we're on a little hold right now for our place. Um, well, hope y'all enjoy all this week. Oh, we love it. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank y'all. I'll, I'll see y'all here tomorrow, Sun in the morning. I'm sure okay. we'll be back yeah, and put right. something else Thank on. You. Thank, right. you. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Think so far, you having a good time? Yeah, man, it's great. Oh, yeah, love, yeah. love it. Really appreciate yeah, you guys doing it. We still have a lot more to go. Yeah, no. We're going to be on the afternoon one, too. Okay. Yeah, so we're, you're, we're, we're hanging out with me and Billy no, all day long. You got yeah, us all day. stuck with oh, us all man. day. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's you know, okay. You know, our, our goal is for you to see Memphis a little bit more how Elvis saw it. That's right. See his Memphis and just kind of learn the places he hung out and where he was. I mean, this was his area. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, we usually just go to Beale Street and Graceland and all that, and so it's good to see everything yeah. else. Now, you, now you'll be able to yeah. know more locations. Yeah. Yeah. Do it the right way. And Crown Electric was just right there. Where that building, you see where that building is built on the, the very corner of the building? Yeah. That's where Crown Electric was. Yeah, so that's fairly new. Building. Yeah. yeah, they just built it last year. Well, Washington. That's Memphis. So guys, I just wanted to point out American Sound, Suspicious Minds, In the Ghetto, those great songs in the 70s for Elvis that really helped Elvis there in the mid-70s. That building, the studio, is where Family Dollar is, if you don't know. And I'm showing you a photo right now of American Sound. Look at the pole in the 51 South. There it is today. Luckily, that's still there to mark the spot. American Sound, Elvis, Suspicious Minds, In the Ghetto, a lot of others. The sound came out of that building. Not that building, but that building that was once there. And Roy Orbison lived upstairs here. Um, I met Stan Kessler upstairs at the record store. Stan wrote, I'm left, you're right, she's gone, and I forgot to remember to forget, among other things. And he was working at the record store upstairs, and I got him to autograph my book with his name in it. Tell him about Jimmy Velvet, what he yeah, did. Yeah, Jimmy Velvet owned that at one point, and they, him and his brother were trying to perfect the ability to turn things into velvet, and they completely covered the building in velvet at one time. <laughs> Have y'all had a good time? Yeah, sure. Learned a little bit, maybe? So you've done both parts now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah, you did part one and two. Got you close up. <laughs> you know if you're on a tour bus, you're going to be on an episode with us. So that's just a part of it. Y'all have the best seats in the house, huh? Your principal, oh, she's skipping school, guys. <laughs> and you know your principal probably is an Elvis fan, so... Probably not. Not gonna... All right, so it says, welcome Elvis fans. 
you come in, it's right through those doors. But we're going to put you on film here. I tell you. A lot of fans are commenting today on the video as we uh, show the place. As you might not be a fan of oh, yeah, I will. Fred, uh, Fred's cool with it. Bro, you know Fred. Look at all this cool stuff. Yeah. In California, it's got golden gold. Yeah, yeah, they used to, I believe, put these in uh, records. Yeah, she did. And here's she the did. badge, uh, the buttons. Uh, it was just like... It's pretty cool. You know, I still can't wrap my hands around it. You know, all right. Yeah. That's crazy. That's you know, I mean, that's the closest you're going to get to that old thing. Right. Yeah. Yeah. That's what we Philosophy for a happy it's life. Someone to love, something to, yeah. love, yeah. Something I mean, to look forward to, and something to do. Right. EP 75. Not like that. So that is going to be a uh, badge yeah. that they're off yeah. I'm not big into football, but I'm a football. Kalamazoo. Yeah. So he did get one from Kalamazoo. Yeah. Well, yeah. I like the Bears. <laughs> that was just right there. Well, I'm not crazy into them either, but I guess I Elvis owned Rosie yeah. V's with Virgin yeah. Mary. The yeah. Reckless yeah. Metal with Crew. I like the White Sox. Uh, That's pretty cool. I like the Cardinal. Now, Cardinal's close. That's falling over. Yeah, That's a like watch. Yeah. yeah, a lot of people but, like Cardinals. Yeah. Because of the clothes. So Elvis gave that to Janelle yeah. uh, uh, McCombs. That's crazy. That's good. The St. Louis because The stadium's right there. After the interstate's right there, but if you go to Chicago, that's a little bit different vibe there. Then people are that is going to be ready to speedway there. Yeah, oh, yeah. People will. Elvis Presley on EP lighter. Oh, you know that we're doing that. Even says Las Vegas Dodgers. Then all of a sudden you're at the stoplight with them or something, you know? And they're. It's scary. Yeah, it's creepy. It's scary. I get white knuckles all the time. Elvis Presley on Go and Silver Cartel, that one with seven clear songs. That is cool right there. Oh, wow. And that man. And that EV Continental. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Not only the... So this is an old school EP t-shirt, and on our tour bus we talk about how much Elvis made in 56. He made a lot of money, millions and millions of dollars. And this t-shirt is one of the reasons. Yes. 425. This is a, a book that you need to get. Bill Black, Don't Be Cruel, Elvis, the Bill Black story. Kind of a story that we don't really know about because he died so young. And if you buy it, you get a record. Look at that. Don't be cruel, Elvis. The Bill Black story. You watch. Appreciate you, man. Spa guy. Yeah, he's right next door. Oh, that's cool, man. Yeah. Said hello. They said hello. You having a good time? Where are you from? Nice to meet you, man. From Boston, right? All right. That's the world we live in, man. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, buy you a few things while you're here. There's photos of Elvis and Priscilla in this building right here. Um, a lot of photos. Priscilla took karate at this building as well. Elvis took karate at this building. And Priscilla actually was, uh, she was a belt holder in, in karate. She actually um, had, took lessons from Chuck Norris, by the way. There's canceled checks from Elvis to Chuck Norris for doing karate lessons for Priscilla here, or actually in L.A. But you spent the entire day, like seven hours, with me and the spa guy on our bus tour. What'd y'all think about it? Loved it. I'm Tom Livesey, and this is my daughter, Elena and we had a wonderful day. Very enjoyable and very entertaining and very educational. Yeah, I learned a lot of stuff that I didn't know and my favorite part was getting to see all the places that he lived and everything and his pretty much everyday life. I thought that was cool. Yeah, very informational and we're very appreciative for having us. Well, hey, you know, we appreciate you guys. I think you, y'all both watch our show, don't you? I do all the time. I've seen like a video or two, but. Okay, well, you, you're gonna watch all of the shows now, right? But <laughs> uh, you, were, you were like talking about certain episodes and things right. like that. Um, you mentioned though, something interesting, 15 years old, 
Knoxville, Tennessee. Your mom did something really cool. What was that? She helped me record the concert on a, a cassette tape player. May uh, 20th, 77th. May 20th. Mm -hmm. And not only the concert, I mean all the stuff before it. So you yeah. know, you've preserved what it was really like. Yes. To, to go to a that Elvis is, concert. Yes, it was awesome. So thank you for uh, being smart enough to do that back then. You're 15 well. years so. All right, I hope y'all join us when we do a part three. Because we still have a lot more locations. Uh, I'm and I. Oh, gonna yeah, be we'll back. Be there. Okay. Hey, thank y'all. <laughs> I'm Kevin from Detroit. Uh, James from Detroit, but uh, came here from uh, London, England. London, England. Wow, yeah. man, that's a little trip. A few hours. <laughs> well, we've been trying to come to the tour for the last couple of years, so um, we finally I haven't mean, been able to make it work. Yeah, so we will make it work now. We finally be able to make it work. What did you think about it? It's great. I think um, the best part about the tour, honestly. Uh, was seeing was being able to hang out and interact with yourself and spa guy wow. and uh, and see how you the interaction between you guys and how you're actual real people and uh, what you do on the TV or on, on YouTube is uh, very much the same as how you are in person and that was a great thing to see and um, the fact that you took the time to meet with everybody, to answer questions, to be very friendly and humble with everybody that you didn't even know. I uh, was very, very appreciative. So um, you made us feel welcome. We didn't feel uh, lost or that we were going to be left somewhere. And that meant a lot. That meant a lot to us. And so. Um, yeah. You guys don't have to do this. Yeah. I mean, this is you don't have a lot to do of work, it. big commitment. I know, we appreciate it. What yeah. we wanted to do is make it seem like you I was were on a bring YouTube show. That's, that's exactly... Did you, did you feel like you were on a YouTube 100%. show? 100%. 100%. Oh, yeah. That's exactly what it felt like. Yeah. All right, guys. Yeah. Well, you got to come back and join us if we ever do part three. Do our very best. Yeah, man. We will. Hey, thank you. Well, you got it. This is the Elvis barbecue flatbread. And that is uh, Elvis chicken tenders. And what he's saying is that they were trying to get a copy of Star Wars. The hamburger. And another flatbread. And this is a chicken sandwich with Star Wars. Spa guy gets discovered everywhere he goes. We love our subscribers and people that watch the films. And it's always cool to meet you. I met a quite a, I've met a quite a few of you today. I've got you on film. <laughs> We're driving by the Doge, and this is what we see. And I even made a rhyme out of it. Yeah.